Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my Kawaii World! So in this video I want to talk about Japanese bathrooms and why they are next level amazing. If you're a mom of young kids then you will definitely appreciate some of these features. So let's get started. <laughs> A bidet. This is something that almost all Japanese toilets have and it's a little spray of water that you can use to spray on your butt to make it extra clean after you go number two. Once you get used to having this, it's really hard to go back because if you think about it, if you got dog poop on your foot, would you wipe it off with a piece of dry tissue? Do you think that would get your foot clean? Or would you rather use a little bit of water? If you think about it that way, then you can see how the Japanese toilets just seem much more evolved. They make the American toilets seem almost primitive. Do you ever feel embarrassed when you're going to the bathroom because you might have a loud number two? If so, go ahead and press this button right here and it'll make a loud gurgling noise. It will sound like the toilet is flushing, but it's actually not flushing and it'll cover up any uncomfortable noises that you make while you go to the bathroom and it'll also make other people feel comfortable by not having to listen to it. Flushing by just waving your hand over the motion sensor. You don't have to touch a handle. The big flush and the small flush. This is a water saving device. So if you only have a little bit of flush, just like urine, you use the small one and it'll use less water. But if you have something that requires a lot of water to flush, then go ahead and go for the big flush. Not all bathrooms have this, but isn't this amazing? It's a motion sensor where you can throw away your sanitary pad. It closes automatically and gives your feminine products a deodorizing and antibacterial treatment. So this will reduce the odor and it's just much more clean than those metal bins on the side of the wall. There's a baby seat in the bathroom. I can't tell you how many times I used this when I lived in Japan because my kids were both under three while I was there and any mom knows how uncomfortable it is to go to the bathroom with a baby strapped to your body in the ergo so it's amazing to have somewhere to put your kid while you use the toilet. The bathrooms with the baby seats will normally have this icon on the door. Toilet seat cleaner spray. It's a little sanitizing spray that you spritz on the tissue and then you just wipe the toilet seat before you sit down. Is this better than the toilet seat covers that we use in the US? I don't really know. But sometimes in the US, you'll put down the toilet seat cover only to find it splashed with urine because somebody peed on the seat. And this is way too common in the US. In Japan, it's really rare to find pee on the toilet seat. I think because people actually use this cleaner to wipe the seat and then they just sit down directly on the seat. And if you want, you can put a little bit of toilet paper on top of the cover to act as another barrier, which is what I typically do. But I think it's really nice to have this sanitizing spray. A diaper dispenser. This is similar to the sanitary pad dispenser, but it's basically a way to dispose of diapers. You put your diaper in that hole and then push this button on the side of the wall and it goes into the trash can. Some places will offer a plastic bag so you can tie up your diaper before you throw it in the trash and that will reduce the smell. A kid's urinal in the women's bathroom and a mini sink. I have girls, but I'm sure that this comes in handy for moms of little boys. Some shopping malls have a separate bathroom for kids, just kids, and they have big, middle, and small size stalls and toilets that are sized accordingly. And there are also sinks and hand dryers that are set much lower to the ground so that kids can use them. I'll just say that my kids absolutely loved using the bathroom in Japan. They would always wash their hands twice and take extra time to use the hand dryer. And sometimes in the adult bathroom, they will have a small sink that's low to the ground for kids. A bag holder by the sink. Have you ever had too many shopping bags to hold while you're just washing your hands? You can hang them on this hook. It can be good or bad depending on how you view it, but I noticed that in Japanese bathrooms, there are hardly ever any paper towels. They will have hand dryers. But I noticed that a lot of ladies will carry their own hand towels. It's about the size of a washcloth, and you can get them anywhere, like Daiso, or they even have fancy ones at the Disney store for like 5 to $7. 
and you'll see these little towels and you'll think to yourself why are these so expensive but people can get really fancy with their hand towels because you carry them around in your purse and you use them every day to dry your hands if you guys want to see more videos on japan make sure you check out these playlists right here and let me know in the comments below what features you would like to have in your bathroom i'll talk to you next time bye